Uh, so today we will talk a very small topic, uh, which is testing dose of the ultraviolet radiation. So since this topic uh, is a little bit in detail, it's not like the other topics of infrared radiation or other uh, dosages. It's a little bit different uh, testing uh, apart from our other general radiations. So that's why I'm making this video. Okay, so now talking about UVR testing uh, dose, uh, first of all it has to be done not on a target tissue. It has to be done on a uh, aspect like a forearm of the body or flexor specifically if I talk or then the extensor of the forearm will work. Okay, so starting with the testing dose, uh, so we need to understand these three aspects. One is preparation of the apparatus. Second, uh, conducting the UV exposure. The third one is the assessing the MED. MED means minimal erythmal dosage. Okay, so these three steps uh, are very very critical and very very important to give the testing dose of the apparatus. Again, I repeat uh, one more important aspect that whenever we are doing the testing dose, we are not going to give the UVR on a target tissue that is maybe a back, neck, or other parts. So we are going to expose that part of the skin. Suppose the forearm aspect the flexor or extensor area where erythema can be easily seen. So starting with the preparation of the apparatus as we all know that the prepared, uh, apparatus has to be prepared well first. The line and the wire and the cable and the heating has to be checked up uh, in that uh, aspect. So after you are done with the preparation of the apparatus and including the subject explaining uh, how much exposure will come and how much heat he will feel then checking the sensitivity then uh, checking all those things and explaining him then wearing the protective gloves and all then we will do the conducting of the uv exposure okay and conducting of the uv exposure where it's on the uh, testing dose where the forearm of the aspect will be there so assessing finally the med assessing the med that is uh, minimal erythmal dosage so now going ahead with this so to do the test dose we have two things one is this uh, sample uh, and the another one which is running right now in other parts of the world is this one this is Devlin patch okay so what are these two these are the testing apparatus so we put this uh, this can be made up usually with a length cloth okay or maybe a cardboard paper also then you can see three shapes are there okay and the circular then the triangular and the rectangle this shapes has to be cut down into the, the cardboard if you take a cardboard like this like this uh, big okay and then uh, this shape has to be cut out then this shape has to be cut out and this shape has to be cut out so you put this into the forearm aspect of uh, the body and then uh, after that uh, one by one you expose that uh, area so suppose you are exposing this for the 30 seconds then you have to cover this too with a link cloth or something and then uh, suppose the test duration is for 15 to 20 minutes then you expose this area again that is the 60 seconds exposure and then 90 seconds of exposure so you do it in this way so this can be done uh, for with a length cloth or with a cardboard uh, box also the second thing what they are using uh, nowadays in other countries are is a devlin patch so as i said uh, you know you can uh, check the forearm area so there are six patches over here so if you see you know uh, this patch is removed so patch number one patch two three four five and six so suppose the whole uv is exposed over here what happened is uh, the first patch is exposed then after uh, two minutes the second patch is exposed then after three minutes take a break then again third then again after two minutes four five and six so this was suppose the total duration of the exposure is 20 minutes so the maximum exposure is patch one then the two minutes lesser than is the another one so like this they expose the patches so with this uh, we will have a latent period of somewhere around uh, 24 hours that is the next day after giving this testing dose uh, we will ask that person to come back without washing that particular uh, part and then we will assess the MED that is this one uh, you know after the preparation of the apparatus comes the conducting of the uv exposure what we did with the testing dose and the final thing is the assessing the med so when he comes after testing this we will have these things so if e1 means uh, erythromal dosage 1 e2 means erythromal dosage 2 e3 means erythromal dosage 3 and e4 means erythromal dosage 4 
So you can see the appearance. You can uh, call this appearance maybe as a latent period also. So E1 will take some around 6 to 12 hours to appear the erythema. Okay. E2 dosage will take 4 to 6 hours of appearance. That is latent period. It will take that much of time to produce the erythema. E3 will take 2 to 4 hours while uh, E4 will take only 2 hours. So as you see the dosage is getting increased. The time taken for that is getting reduced. If you see the duration, how much uh, duration the erythema will hold is getting higher and higher. E1 dose lasts only one day. E2 dose lasts